here's some pens. Peculiar pens? Oh, these ones are very pretty pens. In fact, some of the most beautiful pens I've ever seen, I think. Extraordinary. And they all have a lovely feature to them. These two are extremely pretty because I've got flowers. This is the same genre, but it hasn't got flowers. I'll put them in the middle. And you hold them like that and you write with them when you want to. But each of them does something interesting, because when you push here in order to write, it lights up. And even the, the very tip of the pen lights up where the, where the piece, where the ink comes out. All point comes out. This one here lights up. And this one lights up. And if you put, hold them with a bunch in the hand, you see just, well, I'll hold them this way up. you see just how pretty they look. Extraordinary, isn't it? So two of them have got very floral decorations on them, which make them look very beautiful, the outside too. The middle one is plainer, but still, very, very elegant ballpoint pens, each of them with a clip, a black, a silver and a gold, and they're all, I think, very, very attractive looking writing instruments. And we'll save the battery. This is something like an ergonomic pen. It's for helping people, perhaps, who've got trouble holding pens, if your hands aren't strong. And there's the actual point of the pen there. And you don't hold it like that. Instead, you see there's a hole there, a very large hole, a finger hole, where you put your finger through like that. And that really grips onto the finger there. So if you're having trouble gripping and holding a pen, this is of enormous help because it grips your finger. It actually, almost as if, if, if it's a clamp in your finger, and makes writing very easy for people who have trouble with their fingers, with their muscles and their fingers. An ergonomic pen, really, of a very clever design. This is one that's got a mechanism inside it. It looks like a rugger ball, very elongated. I love to know how it actually works, because as a ball point comes out, <coughs> but when you turn it upside down, nothing happens. You have to shake it like this. And now it's come out, and it's quite firmly out. It won't retract if I start writing with it. If I want to retract it, I just turn it upside down, and now it won't come out because I haven't shaken it. But to make it actually work, you must do a deliberate one of those. Out it comes, and now it's ready to use. I'd love to see the mechanism inside, but I don't think I can, I can get into it without breaking it, so I don't want to do that. Wow. This is a bit bizarre, because it's an ordinary pen. I suppose what's odd about it is they go with a sleeve, which is inflatable. It's very pretty in flowery and butterflies. But you blow, put your mouth in there and blow it up, and it's got something pretty on the top as well. That's all liquid. And it comes with a ballpoint pen inside it like that, so when you're gripping it and it's all blown up, it's a little bit stronger, easier to hold, to hold in the hand, I suppose, but softer. I don't know what it is about it. It's very strange. I don't think this is the original cover. I think it's something that was prettier originally. But an inflatable ballpoint pen, well, I have got another version, which is entirely needed, but inside this is a perfectly normal plastic biro, so I don't know what to make of that one. Very strange. This one's nice. It's, um, it's a nice cheerful looking whale on the top. It's got lots of things going on inside, which you can see. It's got batteries I've put into it. And to make it work, you've got to push that little orange wheel like that, and it starts going, and it goes. Yes, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Very beautiful, actually. And the ballpoint almost comes out at the end. But there's LEDs up and down the whole length, and a tiny little loudspeaker there. And after the music stopped, it goes on flashing away for a little time afterwards. It's also got a useful little thing, so you can hold it on your, on your wrist or something, or attach it to a belt. A nice one. This is a, a sea lion. It's very, very elegant and very pretty looking thing. So here's the ballpoint pen inside the base. At the top there, it's got this lovely, funny little thing with whiskers on it. And it's got a charming appearance to it. It looks like a very, very contented sea creature. A sea lion, very elegant, and actually quite comfortable to hold in the hand. If I'm going to write with that, I'd find that quite comfortable to hold in my hand, but it's looking at me when I'm doing it, so it amuses me to see something staring back at me as I'm using it. <laughs> the last one is a very, very bizarre one, which I picked up a few years ago in New York. It's quite a chunky thing. The actual ballpoint is there, of course. And then when you turn it on, look at this, there's an eyeball there on a spring. What's going on? 
Well, there's batteries inside, so it'll start before me. That is very bizarre. And that is a rousing round like that. It's almost like a serpent, like it's a slit like, isn't it? The way it tries to lift its head. Very, very strange indeed. Very, very strange. I've never seen anything quite like it since, and I've never seen that mechanism. Never mind it being a ballpoint pen, but it's amazing. Love it. <laughs> One of my top favourite pens.